Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is part of the Christmas All Year playlist that is hosted by the one and only Indiana Jones and co-hosted by Connie's Nails and Creative C Creations. Oh, that's a tongue twister. I'll tell you more about those in a minute, but let's jump in. So I love Christmas. So this was such an exciting playlist for me to be part of. But of course, it's April and all my Christmas stuff is put away. So I had to get creative. So I'm going to use these pine cones. Now, if you've been on my channel before, I have posted videos of crafts that I've made with pine cone flowers. They are one of my favorite things to work with. So I just took this little bag of little pine cones that I got at Dollar Tree. And just using some garden shears, you just have to cut into them. You're almost making little slices into them. The little ones, you're basically just cutting in half because they are quite tiny. Now, sometimes the core is quite tough. As you can see with this one, you really have to struggle to get through it. Sometimes if you just rotate it a little bit, you'll be able to get through. Now, the top parts of those ones worked out to be pretty cute. The bottom... They had kind of a wide core, so they didn't really look like a flower. So I was trying to pick them away a little bit. Sometimes if you pick away at some of the little pieces, you can make it look more the way you want. Now I didn't realize, I didn't really give you guys a close up of what these look like, but I will put a card and a link in my description that has my previous videos. I did a video that really showed you how to make pine cone flowers and mm -hmm. I also showed how to bleach them, which is really cool as well. Next, I'm gonna take four of these wood slices and they already have a little hole pre-drilled in the top. And then I'm gonna take the pine cone flowers and just using hot glue, I'm just gonna attach those. Now this is the fun part. You can really style them however you want. Some of them I just put one pine cone. Others I put little groupings. Next we're going to do the hangers. So I used some of this buffalo check ribbon. I just fed it through the little hole. Tied it in a little knot. And then I hot glued the little knot to the back of the little wood round so you wouldn't see it when it's hanging up. So there's the first one. And then the next one I just used a little piece of jute twine. Same thing, fed it through the hole, tied a little knot, and then I glued the knot to the bottom. That way you just don't see the knot or the little tails of it. And it makes it nice and secure. And then for the next one, I wanted to show you guys just a couple different options. So I used some jute twine, fed it through, and then just added a couple of these little wood beads that I got off Amazon. Now, I always find it's easier if you're threading beads to just use a little bit of painter's tape around the edge of the jute. It almost makes like a little needle and it's so much easier to feed the twine through the bead holes. And then I just tied a little knot and here we go. There they are all finished. I love how these turned out. They are something you could leave out all year round, um, but I can't wait to put them on my Christmas tree as well. Number two. Now for this one, I used this rectangular wooden canvas that I had on hand, but you could use any picture frame or wood frame that you have. And we're gonna use the Folk Art Antique Wax. Actually, it's Craftsmart Antique Wax, which is our Michaels brand. Now I like to use it watered down, so I keep it in a separate little jar. So I've got it watered down. I'm just gonna use my little sponge brush and put this on, covering the entire thing. Now I wanted it to be nice and dark, so I didn't wipe off the excess. Usually I would wipe it off with a baby wipe or a cloth, but I let, I just wanted it to soak in and be darker. And then this is another one of the little wooden canvases. This one I did pick up at Dollar Tree. 
And we're going to do the same thing using the watered down antique wax. I'm going to go through and stain this one as well. And now this was a snowflake I had. I did pick this up at Dollarama at Christmas time. It's beautiful. It's like a, a nice solid wood snowflake. And I lost the footage, but all I did was just attach it with hot glue. I glued it to the bottom canvas and then to the top and just let it sit. And now I'm just using my sheepskin folk art chalk paint and I'm dry brushing that on just to give it kind of a distressed look. And here we go, all finished. Again, I love how, I know I always say that, but I love how this one turned out too. Okay, now let's tell you about the Christmas All Year Playlist. It's hosted by Indiana Jones and Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. There, I said it. Now, if you haven't checked out these two ladies' channels, you have to, they're amazing. They're both just wonderful people. I will have their links to their channels in my description as well as the playlist for today. Now let's go to number three. For number three, I used this little coffee wood plaque that I had on hand and I'm gonna use a some of this bark. I picked up this bag of bark at Dollar Tree quite a while ago, um, but I've been using it lately for quite a bit of projects. It's been really fun to use and of course I'm in Ontario and we are only allowed to buy essentials we're not allowed to buy craft supplies right now so I've really been going through my stash trying to use up some stuff I have so here I'm just going through and trying to make a Christmas tree shape out of the bark now it's really thin so it's really easy to cut into the shapes you want and now I'm just gonna hot glue it to the tag now, while I'm doing this, I would love it if you would just take a second and hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps my channel grow. And of course, if you like what you see, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button so that you could come back and watch some more videos. Now, I'm going to use a piece of this pie tin pie plate from Dollar Tree that I had left over from another project. I drew a little star on it cut it out with my scissors and then just hot glued it on. It kind of gave it a really rustic metal looking star. And there we go. There's our finished little ornament of our kind of rustic Christmas tree. Okay, and our last one for today. I was lucky and found two of these Christmas signs still in my stash that I didn't pack away. So I'm going to take this one apart, just using my scraper. We all know the Dollar Tree signs come apart really easy. And then I'm going to the two back, I guess are the rails off the sled. I'm going to quickly give those a coat of black chalk paint as well as four of the Jenga blocks. Then using my sheepskin chalk paint from Folk Art, I'm going to I've already gone through and sanded all the glitter off of this. So now I'm just going to give it a couple of coats of chalk paint. I think it did take three or four coats to really cover up all the different colors. So go through and just give that a really good coat of paint. A good couple coats actually. And then through the magic of YouTube, it's all ready to go. So it's all nice and dry. So now I'm going to take my Dollar Tree Square and using a pencil, I'm just gonna draw the lines. I'm gonna go for like a faux shiplap kind of look. So I'm just using the width of the ruler as a guide and drawing my lines. Now I know I've said before, I like using the primary pencils that you get in the school supply section. I think the, it gives you a thicker pencil line and it smudges so nice to give you that shiplap look. So I just took my sanding block and scruffed it up a little to make those lines look a little rougher. And now we're gonna put it all back together. I'm gluing this little top piece on. And then the bottom piece, I want it raised a little bit, so this is where we're gonna use the jingle blocks. So just glue the jingle blocks onto the little rails. And 
And then I apologize, guys, if you hear any weird noises in the background, my dog is sleeping at my feet and she snores. So you might, I don't know if my mic will pick it up or not. So there you go. You just glue the top to the jingle blocks. And now I removed that let it snow, the metal words off the other Dollar Tree sign. And it was just a little too big. So I took my clippers and just trimmed it down a little. It just trimmed that extra loop off the L. And then using hot glue, I'm going to glue it down. And now everyone knows I'm not much of a bow person, but I felt like this just needed something more. So I took some of this burlap ribbon and just made a simple bow, um, just a little crossover and then used a zip tie to gather it together. And then I'm going to add in some of this red buffalo check ribbon. And then I've got a couple of those uh, garland ties that were out at Christmas time at Dollar Tree. I'm just putting it all together. So I'm just trying to see how I like it. Um, so I put the red piece, the red buffalo check piece together as well with a zip tie. Just made your loops and then use the zip tie to zip it together. And then place that on top of the burlap. And then I found this little white snowflake in my stash. So I decided after all, I didn't like the garland ties on there. So I took those away and then hot glued the bow down to the side of the sled. I didn't want it centered on the top. I thought it looked better to the side. So I glued it over to the side and then dovetailed the ends. And here it is all finished. I think it turned out super cute. I can't wait to hang this on my door once we get back into winter time again. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today. If you're here from the playlist, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Now, I would love if you take a second and hit that thumbs up. And of course, I would welcome you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And as always, thanks for stopping by and see you on the next one.